Well, I'm a geologist. I study Earth's past climate using geologic methods, uh, which means I look at mud. I'm more specifically a paleolimnologist. Limnologists study lakes, and I study past lakes. Paleo, like paleontology, means looking at the past. And I'm interested in past climate, and my colleagues are interested in past climate because we, we really need to know what can make climate change, how fast does it tend to change, and, and what's the response to climate change in the environment. How do glaciers respond to climate change? How fast can they grow and shrink? How do ecosystems respond to climate change? There are many flavors of uh, paleoclimatologists, people who attempt to reconstruct past climate. I look at lake sediments, but I work with people who take advantage of lots of other different things that record past environments and past climate for us. So anything that, that preserves a part of a past environment could be an archive of past climate that a paleoclimatologist can study. Think about how layers of mud accumulate in the bottom of oceans over time. Some of our best records of Earth's plastic climate come from the oceans because uh, those ocean basins have been sitting there for a very long time, for millions of years, accumulating mud over time. Everything that's living in the oceans, the tiniest little algae, fish and their scales and their ear bones, uh, everything that's washing into into the oceans and rivers blowing over the ocean. People look at uh, ice that's been frozen on our surface for a long time, that's accumulated layer after layer in glaciers, especially in Antarctica and Greenland. Um, tree rings, anything with layers is a wonderful thing for a paleoclimatologist. Um, and if you were interested in studying climate change is much deeper in Earth's past. You can go to the Grand Canyon and look at layers of rocks piled on top of one another. As a paleolimnologist, I study layers of mud that accumulate in the bottoms of lakes year after year. So you can think of those layers as almost like the pages of a book that record history page after page or layer after layer. And paleolimnologists need to basically figure out a language that allows them to read that book. For me, one of, one of the languages that, that I've learned to speak in order to read that book is looking at biological remains that are preserved in these layers of mud. And this is the remains of organisms that live in the lake in the past or around the lake, got washed into it, things that died in the lake and sunk to the bottom and stayed there as part of the mud over time. If you think about different species that are living on Earth today, you already have associations in your own mind between those species and climate. If, if you see a palm tree, you can imagine that you're in a specific type of warm climate, whereas if you see a spruce tree, you're in a quite a different climate. If uh, you were given the birthday present of a helicopter ride and blindfolded for that and then dropped off somewhere and you stepped off the helicopter and took off your blindfold and you saw a polar bear, you would have a really good guess what kind of climate you were in because that species is associated with a specific climate in the modern world. While insects are the same way, there certain species of insects are successful living in certain climates, and so I actually take advantage of that uh, in trying to read this book of layers of mud. Um, and I take what we know about where those insects live in the present day world to interpret what their presence in the past means. So when I find insects that live in warm places today, I know that I had a relatively warm environment in the past. Cold dwelling insects tell me that temperatures were colder in the past. Anything with layers of material that is essentially bits and pieces of a past environment uh, can tell us about past climate. People who study past climate can go out on a boat, drop a tube down into that mud, 
and bring up a core um that tells them so many different things about past climate.